Hi, I'm Christy with Duck Brand Duct Tape. Today I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape poinsettia. This advanced craft can take anywhere from four to five hours. For this project, you'll use a variety of color of duct tape, including red, green, and yellow, non-stick scissors, a hobby knife, floral wire, a dowel rod, foam, and a flower pot. So the first step is I just took a piece of paper and I drew out four different sizes of a poinsettia leaf. And we're going to use this then to cut out to use as a template. I'm taking a piece of duct tape sheet. It's really easy to work with. You can buy this at a craft store. Or if you don't use this, you can just take your roll of duct tape and create the sheet yourself. So on the back of the sheet, we have a place where you can draw. So just take the template and outline with a pen or a pencil the different sizes of poinsettia leaves. I've cut out one of the leaves from my duct tape sheet. And if you use the sheet, now you need to remove the backing from it. Otherwise, if you have duct tape, you just want to expose the duct tape side up and sit it on your cutting board. The next step is the cutout of the leaf with veins that we've created using the floral wire. I'm going to measure out about the length of the leaf and cut it. You'll also want to put maybe two or three other smaller pieces along the side just like this, again to imitate the veins of the leaf. Take another piece of duct tape sheet, peel off the backing, lay it sticky side up, and take all of your leaves and place them sticky side to sticky side and fill the entire sheet. So now you have a double-sided leaf with duct tape. Once you have your sheet covered with leaves that are sticky side to sticky side together, we're just gonna cut the leaves out. And we have a completed poinsettia leaf. Next step, take one of your smallest petals that you have and just add a strip of duct tape to the bottom like this. And then you'll take your dowel rod and attach it to the very top. And I'm just gonna roll this on here. And then just continue to attach leaves to the dowel rod and work your way down. But as you can see here, you don't wanna to move too much down the rod because all of the leaves are pretty close together up top. And I ended up using about three to four of each size to fill the top of the dowel rod with the red petals. So the next step is to do the exact same thing, but just use green duct tape to make the leaves. And we are going to place it right underneath the red petals and then just continue to add and build the green. And next, I'm going to cover up the dowel rod portion on the bottom. And you could either cut a thin strip out of your duct tape sheet, or just take a piece of duct tape, lay it over, and wrap it around to cover up the wood portion. To cover up the top of the poinsettia plant, and also the part of the dowel rod that's still showing, I just took a very small piece of yellow duct tape, cut it in a circle, and I'm going to place it right on top of the plant. Next, you can take a simple plastic flower pot and actually decorate the outside of it using duct tape. Here's an example of what I created using gold and zebra, but you can use your favorite colors, of course. And the final step is to take your foam disc and put it inside your decorated flower pot. I've taken the dowel rod and actually trimmed it so it fits the size of this flower pot and stick it to the foam. And you can also repeat this step a couple more times to fill in the rest of the top of the pot with more flowers that you've made. And that's how you make a duct tape poinsettia plant.